What's up guys, welcome to the next episode of Zero to Gold Cap. I just got done recording the previous episode and I did some changes to my account that I wanna document for you guys. Also just to keep this challenge um, clean and legit and explain everything to you. So I just transferred three characters to the server, to my Zero to Gold Cap challenge server. My Paladin, my Warlock and my Demon Hunter, or my old Demon Hunter I should say. Why did I do this? Simple. All of these characters are alliance and I want to have a clean split between my horde server and my alliance server and I also have a reason for that, I'm not just doing it. I have a reason because I actually am playing these characters. For example, this paladin, I actually got like 2400 red eye osco on this character. So I'm playing him a little bit. And it is very very annoying to be an alliance character on a horde server and vice versa. So for example, I tried to find a crafter to upgrade my wrists on this paladin a while back, like a couple of weeks back. Blackhand, one of the biggest PvE servers, uh, one of the biggest, yeah, just German PvE servers, but also PvE servers in general of World of Warcraft, could not find a crafter. Like, if you try to use the trade, the trade chat on Alliance on a Horde server, I literally, I tried three, four times at different times a day, could not find a crafter. Very, very annoying. So. Yeah, that's why I decided to bring these characters over to my alliance server since I'm, I want to play them as alliance. Obviously, this gives me an advantage in the challenge. I do have mission tables on these characters. I can do world quests at level 70 that reward more gold, stuff like that. But I'm also going to be spending gold on these characters because, for example, as I said, I'm going to have crafted pieces. I'm going to buy consumables for Mythic Plus for raiding. I want to play this character and raid, for example. So... It does bring advantages, it also does bring disadvantages for this challenge because these characters are actually going to cost me gold, as I already mentioned. So that's where we're at and I wanted to show you guys one more thing because I actually did transfer these characters without any gold. So obviously these characters did have gold on Blackhand on my other server. But I actually sent away all the gold before transferring them because... I want to keep this challenge as clean as possible, but I actually transferred all three of these characters with like five or six gold each. I can show you guys because I already logged in on all of them once. And as you can see right here on my Warlock, I have six gold right now. I did transfer them with five or six gold because uh, I wanted to be able to like fly. If I need to fly in the Dragon Isles, it costs like five gold, right? So that's why I did it. And here you can see, I just stopped the recording. You can go back to my last video. It was 143,000 gold. I believe it's like 16 gold more or something now. So I just want to show you guys, I transferred these characters over clean. Now I'm obviously gonna be sending gold to them now from my um, gold from this server. Simply because I will be needing gold on them uh, to play the game the way that I play. But yeah, I just want to show you guys. It was basically a clean cut, a clean transfer. I even like cleaned up my bags, everything like that, except the gear that I need and stuff. Cleaned up my bags, sent away all the gold. So yeah, that is, uh, I think, enough breath wasted. I want to... I wanted to do this clean because I also wanna like obviously I could have transferred these with like 3 million gold and be much closer right but I want to keep this challenge clean for me because I also want to challenge myself to do it on this server and yeah that's where we're at the characters are transferred because that's the way I want to play that makes it more fun for me to play and that's why I did it and now we're gonna move on with making gold okay guys time to start the actual video <laughs> Um, after the character transfer announcement. We're gonna check where we are at right now. It has been another nine days since I last uh, recorded for the gold cap challenge. And first of all, we're gonna finish off one character today because I'm gonna actually delete this character here, my old auction house character, because of its name. Um, I actually do have a name. So this, this guy, uh, his, his name starts with X, right? And I actually do have a character on my Horde realm that starts with an X as well. And whenever I'm trying to send mail to this character, it was very annoying. So I just created a new Octos character that starts with a letter that I don't have another character with that letter yet. But first, we have to pick the mailbox up because this was still, of course, the main Octos character. 
for the last nine days. So let's go ahead and look at the sales and talk about them a little bit. So we have 100k uh, gold here on on uh, on this character and sales, which is nice. And yeah, so we have some Welt Augment runes. Obviously, I do have a couple of level um, 60 plus characters now that are able to generate these Augment runes through the Shadowlands mission tables, which is nice. And then we did sell quite a few pets already on this server, which is really good. So we have a Great Wing Macaw, Bunbo, which is one of the new Scarra Vault pets, Abyssal Eel, Skyfall, which is from the. Um, Shadowlands uh, mission tables, very easy to obtain uh, if you play through the mission tables. More augment runes, we have a pistachio that is a pet uh, charm vendor pet from um, Dragonflight. More augment runes, uh, more augment runes, Jean's lucky fish, another Dragonflight vendor pet. Then we have a Ranishu Runt, Battle for Azeroth vendor pet, Jean's lucky fish, Dragonflight Vendor Pet, Sea Breeze Bumblebee, Battle for Azeroth Vendor Pet, and more Veiled Augment Runes here in the very bottom. So let's go ahead and collect all of this stuff right now. And then we're gonna log over to my. I have to remember to send the gold away before I actually delete this character, but don't worry, I will. We're gonna log over to my actual Auction House character right here, the new Auction House character that starts with a Q, because I don't have another Q character. Um, another character that starts with the Q yet and I won't create one obviously but first let's look at the character list a little bit and look at the changes because we de definitely did have some more changes throughout the last nine days so the very beginning of the video I already talked about these three characters that I transferred over and um, then I did level my hunter to 60 I believe that was not the case last video I'm not sure but um, the first hunter is level 60 so this guy started doing mission tales as well and I also leveled uh, quite a few of my other characters. As you can see, the levels are all slightly higher. Once again, I am using the Rested Experience method. And I actually did create a bunch of new characters as well. As you can see, we have a bunch of uh, Void Elves here, just because that is like the Alliance allied race that I like the most, uh, I guess. But I actually um, even made a change with this here already, because... I did have two more Void Elves uh, that I deleted again already and I created two more Pandaren because I actually realized that for my method of leveling Pandaren is just crazy OP because Pandaren has this racial passive where they gain twice as much rested experience and they can also store 300% rested experience instead of 150. So yeah, I do have more, two more Pandaren Hunter Twinks. Uh, there's one more in here as well. That is already level 15 and I'm just slowly but surely gonna continue to level up these characters whenever I feel like it and with that being said let's go ahead and go to my new and actual auction house character check out the sales that that guy already has uh, and conclude the video I guess with uh, looking at current gold and everything like that so I did also do a few world quests uh, last week so basically within the last nine days I did almost zero gathering uh, and re in relation to that, of course, also zero gathering sales. I was just too busy with other stuff. I didn't really get to doing it, uh, unfortunately. I would have liked to, but I, I didn't get to it. So that was a bit unfortunate. However, I did do like three or four uh, raw gold world quests at least. But definitely not as much as uh, in the past episodes. So... Sales on the new auction house character. We already have uh, a couple of them. Uh, more pets here, like the Carnivorous Lesher, Devouring Animite, Iki, and Lil Ben Fon. So let's go ahead and collect all of that as well and then uh, check current gold. So it looks like we are at 299k. So we pretty much doubled the gold uh, within the last um, nine days. A little bit more than that, actually. I uh, was at 143k, I believe. So now at 299k, most of that once again is through farming pet charms and selling pets, as you guys were able to see. And yeah, pretty good, uh, pretty good. I'm pretty happy with uh, how it's going. It is still sort of a slowly but surely um, thing, but then again, this is my project gold cap, so it's my style, right? And I am not going out of my way, out of what I enjoy doing, out of what I usually do 
just for this like video series so yeah you guys just get to ba basically witness my style and um, maybe uh, um, see if it's for you as well if you want to try uh, or do stuff like this but i'm happy with where i'm at i'm happy with uh, how it's going and with the progress rate and everything like that so uh i th i don't i think i haven't been been on this for a month right and we've already made almost a wow token on like a new server so that's good but yeah that's gonna do it for this video guys so thank you for watching and until next time i will see you all later peace out